Heartwarming footage shows youngsters queuing up for a formal handshake with the beaming Duchess of Cambridge before showering her with hugs. The adorable pupils are shown waiting patiently in turn for their moment to meet pregnant Kate at Bond Primary School in Mitcham before the first youngster dives in for a hug, and the rest follow their classmates' lead. The Duchess appeared to be taken by surprise at first, but quickly embraced the warm gesture. She had initially extended her hand to shake the little girl's hands, but they each chose to give her a big hug as well. Kate smiled and giggled as each little girl threw their arms around her and made the effort to give each girl a cuddle. Earlier, Kate was greeted by flag-waving crowds of youngsters as she arrived to see the work of the Wimbledon Junior Tennis Initiative. After ditching the 220-pound red boat and jacket she wore earlier in the day to meet patients at Great Ormond Street Hospital, she then joined a training session for the Wimbledon Stars of Tomorrow, where she joked how she is less sporty with two children and a third on the way. At the end of the training Kate told pupils and staff, a big thank you from me as well, because I've loved playing with you all it's so energetic and exciting to be part of it, so well done for all the hard work. And I love tennis, I think it's a great sport, I was really sporty when I was little, less so now that I've got lots of babies. Kate patted her small baby bump and smiled as she said the word babies and her audience laughed. She ended by saying, but keep it up, it's great to be active, as everyone's been saying here today. It's been a real pleasure to meet all of you. Earlier on Kate shared a high five with with four-year-old Rafael Chana as she visited the celebrated children's hospital. On her arrival she was handed a pair of cuddly toys called Bernard and Wendy from nine-year-old Averwad, who suffers from cystic fibrosis. Kate thanked the youngster for the gift before warmly placing a hand on her shoulder. Ava, who lives just around the corner from the hospital, said Kate told her the teddy bears will be a lovely present. She also gave Kate a thank you card with a poem inside which said gosh gives hope to so many children in their families and described it as a magical place. Kate then opened the latest phase in the institution's ambitious redevelopment project. Addressing a small crowd, which included supporters of the hospital, Kate said, I just wanted to say a huge thank you for having me here today. It's been my first trip to Great Ormond Street Hospital and I've been so impressed with everything I've seen and the scale of the work that's going on here. It's been wonderful to meet so many families and young people and I've been so inspired by their bravery and courage at such a difficult time. The new Middle Children's Medical Center has transformed the hospital's inpatient facilities and fulfills its goal of providing modern accommodation for all the young patients and allowing parents or carers to stay comfortably by their bedside. It was completed over two stages, first the Morgan Stanley Clinical Building was created followed by the recently finished Premier Inn Clinical Building. The second clinical building involved redeveloping and refurbishing the Children's Hospital's cardiac wing and is now home to a new surgery center alongside inpatient wards for medical specialities like infectious diseases and cardiorespiratory. Yesterday Kate was accompanied by husband William on a visit to Coventry, where the prince showed off some awkward dance moves. The royal couple were touring the medieval city to open a £59 million training centre for nurses, midwives and paramedics at the Coventry University. 
pregnant Kate showed off her sporting nature as she performed a wiggle dance move during a communications training session with paramedics But hilarious video footage shows the 36-year-old directing a pointed look to Prince William, 35, who awkwardly joins in and eventually seems to get the hang of it We pay for your stories. Do you have a story for the Sun Online News team? Email us at tips at the sun.